All right, so uh, it's morning. We spent the night at this Vaughn's grocery store. Uh, they got a Starbucks and they have a Planet Fitness. Um, sketchy LA area that we tried. We bought some groceries and ate them. And uh, look, you get look at that. You get two-hour parking, free electric car charging. Is it really free? Maybe we should buy an electric car, put in the mechanism of the electric car charging in our motor home, and then we could have electric batteries and a propulsion system that could give us a little extra boost for free, except we'd have all that extra weight. So the Trek, uh, the Trek, Safari Trek Pathmaker Edition, that's what it is. It does have a solar panel, mystery solar panel on the roof, I noticed. Anyway, so it said no event parking because they got the stadium nearby, but uh, it's not, it's nothing that rained on our, on our um, parade. So let's go inside, warm up the engine. Let's see here, cold start, cold start. Oh yeah, it's, it's like in the 50s. Look at that, idled right up. Idled right up. So uh, we're gonna warm the diesel up while Basketball Princess gets done uh, washing her hair. Uh, we're really glad to go to Venice Beach and uh, where else did we go? Um, Santa Monica Pier. So that was uh, world famous places and Dasha really wanted to see those yesterday. So I'm glad that she was able to see that. Um, and I, I was happy to see that stuff too. How do I look in this shirt? It's it's chilly. It's chilly in in uh, LA. I'm actually pretty happy with the trek. So big thanks for Alex uh, making it much straighter. We pulled out the frame and welded uh, the subframe. So underneath, frame wise, it's good. Uh, we we fixed um, the, the bumper frame was bent. The bumper slid in a little bit. There's like bolts that hold it. And they have like longer, um, longer holes and it just kind of slid in. Now you can see uh, it's the bumper is still bent, but actually we pushed out where it's supposed to, where this was pushed in. So now this door goes flush. Um, I have it loose because I don't have the key for that for the lock, so we just twist the handles to unlock that. Uh, it's got a nice inverter, so I don't know. Sh should I show you? I won't show you now. Um, so there's a piece of metal back here that goes across to here, uh, worked into the fiberglass. So if I there's a piece of frame that goes across like that and across the bottom, and we if we put a like a two by four and a jack and jacket on here. It'll straighten the rest of this out and it'll be perfectly square. And uh, I was thinking some more duct tape, huh? And uh, it'll look fine. Maybe not. Um, but uh, yeah, a simple unit. Uh, we could uh, plastic weld, the uh, ABS weld the, the drain tank and then it should be good to go. And we could use the water and stuff, the sewer. We've been using the water uh, I really like the aluminum construction, riveted. It's not real solid, thick aluminum frame, so that makes it really light. But it, it isn't the, you know, you wouldn't want to be crashing in this thing. I don't think it will do good in crashes. So um, that's what I have to say about the frame, but you can hear the engine purring. Sounds great. Oh, my tea kettle. I'm gonna make some coffee for Dasha. Yeah. So, uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, we, we can't get the air conditioning to work because of the generator won't turn on for some reason. I don't know why, but I was thinking, I love how the LP gas fridges work. It's so quiet. What if I just replace this door with just like a little uh, radiator there and a little fan and it'll just blow cold air out of there. Just angle, put a little, no? No, you guys don't think that's cool? 
I, I like the principle of how it could use LPE gas to cool. What I'm saying is, can we, like the thing that annoys me about air conditioning, all kinds of air conditioning units, is the amount of noise the pump makes, the compressor. You know, whenever, it, like, for some reason, I really like quiet, unless it's like a diesel engine idling. Uh, so the, the way that refrigerator works on LP gas is it lets a little bit of gas through it, which makes it cold, and then it burns off the gas in a little pilot light thing, right? That's how they work. That's why they get on fire, right? So you gotta keep the back area clear of all dust. So this area, huh? Right here you can see, there's that little light. Light burning. The little blue flame. So, uh, oh, I wonder what it's supposed to say. Why is there water in there, huh? Is that where the water drips and leaks out, or what? I should look at a manual for this. Anyways, it runs on 12 volts in 110. Um, yeah. So, my question is, could you make... Could you get like five of those refrigerators and make a giant air conditioning unit that runs on propane? Wouldn't that be cool? Would that be efficient? Is there such a thing as propane air conditioning? I'm gonna research that. Mm -hmm.